Hi, brother teacher here. Here in recent days, uh, several days back, uh, there was a Maywood Academy teacher. That's the name of the high school in California. He uh, was alleged to have assaulted a teen in his class and then he was arrested. Now, what caused this uh, alleged incident to occur was the fact that the teen was very disrespectful to the teacher. The teacher's name is uh, Mr. Riley. Uh, I can't pronounce his first name right now, but suffice it to say, we do know for a fact his name is Mr. Riley. This was a black 64-year-old music teacher. The young man got up in his face, and this is called on video. I'm going to leave a link to that, or you can look it up on your own. The young man was in his face using uh, negative terminology, uh, racial uh, slang and terms, calling him the N-word or nigger, and he was calling uh, this teacher those things and even telling the teacher that uh, you are afraid of me. He said, why are you uh, looking the way that you're looking, like you're afraid? Basically, that's what he was saying. And he kept saying, my nigga, this kind of stuff. And so what prompted or caused the teacher to respond uh, physically was that it appeared that the boy threw the ball that was in his hand at the teacher and the teacher swung on him and then they moved throughout the room the boy was retreating while the teacher was swinging and then the boy postured up and then he threw a couple swings in between then the teacher swing and so forth and finally uh, there were a couple people who got between them and grabbed the boy and got on the other side of the teacher and so forth but this sparked a whole lot of controversy. Controversy to me, uh, there was a, an amount of response that was negative as far as the teacher striking uh, a teenager or a youth. So, as I said before, he was indeed arrested and his bomb was posted and he was released. But due to a certain uh, young lady, uh, you'll find her name in the comment section below, uh, she started a GoFundMe campaign for this teacher. And before I get to the GoFundMe campaign, um, what was remarkable, remarkable about this whole situation is that the majority of the students stood up for the teacher and not the student that caused the uproar in the first place. And those students supported the teacher through and through. And one particular student that was interviewed said that uh, I don't care about him when asked about the teenager. He said, I care about if Mr. Riley is okay. So they started a GoFundMe campaign and their goal was $50,000. Do you not know within five days or so, the GoFundMe campaign went viral along with that video, of course, giving it that push and they received over two hundred thousand dollars yes over two hundred thousand and i contributed to that gofundme campaign as well because what i saw was not a good thing and anyone any parent if you just sit on your feelings for a moment and look at what actually took place we have to start taking responsibility for ourselves as human beings. Male, female, boy, girl, teenager, and adults, we all must take responsibility for our actions. I am so tired of seeing all of these 
text my own parents, these soccer type moms who want to jump on the phone and call 911 and Child Protective Services when they see you whipping your child. And especially if you're not killing the child or harming the child, but you are administering discipline. Now, of course, there's such thing as excess, but they're not the judges of that unless it's just obvious. But anyway, forget that for now. These people supported Mr. Riley. I support Mr. Riley. Now, I don't think it should have been a full-fledged brawl or fight on any level, but that young man pushed him to that point. He pushed a button. The teacher kept trying to give him an opportunity to leave, and he, he was standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, and he persisted on what he was doing. He was not going to stop the young man, that is. So, who do I fault? I definitely do not fault the teacher, Mr. Riley. I don't believe that he should be uh, fired. I believe that he should possibly be uh, relieved of teaching for a week or so with pay, like the police officers when they shoot somebody. They get paid administration leave or administrative leave so I believe the same should happen with him if you sit down with a level head and watch that video you know that the boy did something that was totally wrong now he should be the one punished not Mr. Riley now he is a reflection on and of whoever his parents are. I know sometimes, depends on circumstances and times, that a child may slip through the cracks and end up like that young man, very belligerent, disrespectful to any authority figure. But that's uh, rare, should be. But when you have a, a child like that, you can't help but wonder what type of parent or parents does he have that you would disrespect an adult on that level. It seems, first of all, when I was coming up, children of the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s all respect authority for the most part we're taught to uh, respect all adults your parents within your home all of your adult relatives and once you left the home you treat all adults as if you were talking to your or dealing with your own parents not the 90s babies and the present they're not that way anymore could it be because we have a lot of young parents raising children, very young parents raising children, and they don't have any uh, standards, they don't have any proper guidance, because who they got their guidance from didn't have any either. It's unfortunate. And what gets my goat is when you have a parent that watches their child in the video like that. They want to jump automatically to the rescue of the child, which is natural to do, but it should be more natural when the child is innocent and actually is indeed a victim. But when the situation is caused by their child, they become mute all of a sudden as it relates to what the child did and very boisterous boisterous as it relates to what happened to the child they're ignoring in other words the discipline of that child the fact or lack thereof I should say so those parents need to have a rude awakening by God by law enforcement by the legal system, by someone, by the school as well. I am sure 
that this was not an honor roll student, uh, maybe outside of grades, honor roll, honor roll in terms of behavior. Was he a model student? It's apparent that he was not, no matter what anyone says. You don't stand in front of an adult threatening the adult and trying to get the adult to do something and basically saying that they're a punk or what have you. You just don't do that. Back in the biblical days, they would stone a child that disrespected an adult. And in some countries across the planet, they still have a similar punishment when children disrespect authority and adults. So my question to you is do you believe that this man should have gone to jail? This this teacher, Mr. Riley, do you believe that he should be punished and or fired? And do you believe that this boy that caused this situation and Mr. Riley to respond the way that he did, should he just walk away as if he did nothing wrong? What say you? This is brother teacher. I'm interested in what your answer is. I'll be awaiting so long.